Good evening. Welcome to Costco Modeling. I'm Carl. Horrible day today. It's been snowing all evening. We've got about three inches of snow outside. It's cold. He <clears throat> can't be a good brew. Right, so I've missed a couple of days. I do apologize, but the weather has been snowing, freezing, raining, blowing. I've not been able to get excited to do any priming, but I have managed to eventually. So I've got it all in primer. So it's all dry. So I can have a go at it tonight. And when I say tonight, it's quarter past midnight, Friday morning. Was it Friday the 9th? So it's, uh, I'll give you a little heads up on what I'm on with on stream. Uh, from Doom, it's Doom, Doomsday Scythe. You'll see that soon. Right, well, I suppose I better go down Cam and get on with it. But uh, I think actually with this one, I'm going to do some painting. But I'm going to, I'm going to, like I say, I'm not trying to teach anybody anything because I can't. I'm learning myself, so I'm going to have a go at uh, mainly dry brushing this one. I think and see how it comes out. So I was talking to Sprue and Glue yesterday, and he was showing me some techniques that he's using where he's painting with the side of his paintbrush so the primer's still exposed and I liked the technique and I liked the finish he was getting so I'm going to have a go at that but this time I think I'm going to do some dry brushing so I don't think it'll be a long video tonight because I can only do so much obviously I'm going to go let it dry and I'm going to go to bed so and I'll keep it short so I shall pause this go down camera and then carry on so I shall be back. Right, so now I've got everything laid out. I know what's what. I've got my colours that I'm going to use on this model. So, there they are. That's all I'm going to use. Just little seven. So I've got corn red, moot green, Balthazar gold, warp lock bronze. I like that colour. Bit of iron hand steel, Taliban green, and warp stone glow. And I will use the white as well, actually. I'll get that out. I'll be using the white as well. But I like the Vallejo rather than the Citadel. But that's just personal choice. It's not quite as chalky. So I think what I'll do is I'm going to start off because I want to try and give it a bit of a glow. I don't know if you can see very well. White's not very good tonight. Oops. Oh, that's a close that camera a bit better. You've got the little grooves and everything in it. Hopefully you'll see it as we're going on. I'm going to start off with a bit of Colorblown Green just to try and... Now I've given all these a shake before. So, I'll fade a paintbrush ready. Yeah. So, I'll take some of this colour and green. Got my palette. That'll do. Get some water on the brush. Uh, my gentle mix. Just a little bit of water with it. Not too much, but you don't want it to go on too thick. Like I say, it's an experiment for me, so I don't know if it's going to work, but we'll try. So I'm going to try and do the majority of this model and dry brushing. Not too dry. Push. Let me tweezers. That's what I hold on to. Yeah. So, because I'd like to make that groove look like the glowing. So, if I come up the edges with a bit of that, 
should just give it a bit of green. I've got a feeling it's not going to look very good until the end, if that makes any sort of sense. It should improve as it, the further we get into it. Well, that's what my brain's telling me. Because of what I'm doing, I won't be able to do too much tonight, I don't think. But I'll keep an eye on the time. Try and keep it to about half an hour. And try to keep the waffling down. And I'll try not to keep pausing it as well. Around the edges. It's not really just like a dry brush as such. I'm just, I feel like highlighting the edges with this. When I've gone over the green, I'll go over with silver a bit heavier. So I want it to have a green tinge to it. So leave that one there for now. I will do the other side in a minute because that should dry off a bit. I'll definitely put way too much paint out. A bit of paint on there. I actually want that with paint on. That's a base. It's a bit wet. I should really have a. Uh, Cotton bud or something out. Just so I get any big blotches like that. On that. Oh, use my finger. Come back to the middle. If you can see that, unfortunately, my internet is really bad, so I'm sorry. The picture's never going to be very good until they decide we can have proper internet, like the rest of the country. I do feel bad about the internet quality. I've got a good camera and got a computer, I've got a new computer, but it doesn't help it. I'm very limited to what I can do. I even wait till everybody's in bed. So there's nobody using the internet at all. Uh, I believe the rest of the country is getting quite a bit of snow at the moment. Nobody's actually said it though in the streams. I've heard.
Now these little spider dudes, I might do a different colour on these, I don't know yet. Might use a bit of colour shift paint on it. I don't know, we shall see. Yeah, it's not quite dry brushing, it's sort of in between. That's why I'm using the cloth. I want some paint left on. Or more than you would normally be dry brushing. I don't know what you'd call it. Moist brushing. <laughs> I don't know. Think. Yeah, I was talking to an American friend tonight, and they put me onto a, a company that does um, like apps for editing and stuff. He says it's quite idiot proof, so I'll have a look at that tomorrow. So if the next video has got a decent, well, reasonable in, in, um, start, then you know I've managed to do it. Right, so I'm going to leave that now. Go to these. Let that dry for a little bit. Um, right, I don't want to. Yeah, clean that. So I always have. I can't see. <laughs> Sorry. I always have two pots of paint. I know it's black, but. Actually, paint on the bottom of the pot. I always keep one for metallics and one for normal paint. And I've just realised I'm using the wrong water. Oh, that means I'm going to have to scrub these brushes after. Because otherwise, if you use the metallics, you end up with flecks of like metal flecks, if you like, in your paint off the brushes, which I've just messed up. Mm -hmm. Never mind. But I've done that because I'm on camera. I wouldn't normally do that. Anyone watches the stream, they know I'm quite particular with that. Right, let's have a couple of this colour. This is the Warp Lock Bronze. And I really like the look of this colour. It does look a nice colour. Don't need up much this time. 
for the power so we got one. Everything is. Water. Usually, my brushes are really good cleaner once or twice a week when I keep the water right. But hey, no, I'm not adding any water to this now because I want this more of a dry. But not too dry. And according to the box art, which you can't see, but there it is, the front two legs are a darker color. So I'm going to do them in this color. Use my fingers. I want to wash them again. Mm. Because I'm not actually painting it, the black base coat should come through. And when I go over this again with a lighter colour of bronze, it should give me the highlights. And then when I go over it again with an edge highlight with the edge of my brush. That should really make it pop. It should anyway. Where is it? Hmm. Yeah, I might just pause you in a minute. <laughs> I want another brew. Can I do this not tonight? I do like do like that colour, well, if it stands out at all, I don't know. It's nice. Mm, I don't think I need any more of that colour. Tissue. I do like this um, paint paper, power paper. Now, it's a bit of Balthazar gold, which is very misleading. Because it doesn't look like gold. Retributor armor is about the best gold in nice paint, I think, that I found. Look at that. So it's more of a bronze color. Copper bronze, yeah. It's only really the 
arms, they have the legs because the arms are mainly black or metallic. I suppose I've got an excuse when I put this on. <clears throat> I'll leave it for five or ten minutes to dry off a bit before I go over it again. We'll make a brew. A couple of American friends keep commenting on me drinking coffee. I said they're going to send over some American coffee. That's going to be nice. I'm not a tea drinker. I'll stand it. I've actually been thinking about doing a video with the wife that she's into a crafting. I'm thinking of not doing a, not a teacher, but um, helping her, teaching her. I don't like to say that, but if she wants to do some. And we, she bought a load of uh, Metcalf kit, um, sorry, starter kits. And uh, she's asking me if I'll do one with her, so I might do it and record it, um, because we've also bought a couple of Metcalf kits, card kits, because I want to do a little diorama, and I've never done a Metcalf kit, so I fancy doing that, I've seen people doing them on stream, on their different channels, I actually fancy having a go at one. I don't want to light it up or anything like that. I just want to do like a little diorama. So I bought a pub. I thought I might make a nice little diorama with a 172 Jeep or something like that. I don't know. We shall see. Usually get on quite well, me and the missus. I'm just tempted to faint. Um. 
It's quite handy the wife hasn't gone to bed she was in the kitchen she just brought me a making me a cup of coffee before she goes up so i'll have to pause it again when she comes back because the dogs will be where they're wanting to go to bed anybody that watches the streams will know me dog like a fuss <laughs> So now, put some iron hand steel on, and then I'm going to call it night. Because I won't be putting this on everything tonight. Possibly. One thing I have learned is with these paints, if you keep them clean, and take it off the lid and put it on something and then shut it they don't dry out so quick I keep telling my mate screw that but he keeps saying his paint dries out so quick he takes it off the lid <laughs> and you'll, you'll hear that and go <laughs> i'll get that in the neck next week That's one way to know if he's watched it, because if he doesn't say anything, no, he hasn't. <laughs> right. I'll try it on the, on the inside first. Yeah, well, it works. Sorry, I'm off camera. I'm doing this, it should make it look a lot more metallic. I do believe that these techniques 
and pick up on this. It can be taken over to any woodland. And here's my dog, so I'll just pause it. I don't know how you can, if you can see that, but it looks very metallic now, not like chipped and scrapped. So, in theory, it should work out well. I could just do this to the other metal bits. It's really nice when the paint's just right. Take you and you just run out. <laughs> I think that looks nice, that. I like that. I like that a lot. And I apologise if I keep going off camera because I'm not looking at the cam at the computer screen. So if I do, I'm sorry.
Corners the last piece, I think. Right, I think I'll call that it for tonight. Uh, so I've got the, we'll start three colours on tonight. Do the brushes and I remember to unwash them. Right, move the camera. I won't bother pausing it. Oops, I should have done. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to call that it for tonight. That's 40 minutes nearly, so I have a brew. Uh, thank you for joining me. Uh, if this all goes well, I'll put it out tomorrow. and um, I'll be back at it tomorrow night. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Oh, if you like, I forgot this the other day. If you like, please subscribe. Please hit the like button. Subscription doesn't cost anything. Um, if you want updates on futures, just hit the bell. And the like helps YouTube promote my videos. Thank you. Thank you for watching. I'll see you again. Bye-bye.